In this quick tip, we're going to learn about the dropdown element. This element provides users a list of choices where users can select one choice as the value. The dropdown element is an essential form element because it compacts a list without it taking up the entire page. When we add a dropdown element, we immediately have to define the list for the dropdown to choose from. This list can either be static or dynamic. If it's a static list of text, we separate each choice by hitting enter. Now when we preview this, we can see our choices in the dropdown element. And when we have a choice selected, we are setting the dropdown element's value to this choice. When we know what the value of the dropdown will be, we can use it in workflows to save this information to the database or use it when comparing conditionals. If we set this to dynamic, we must explicitly specify the type the dropdown element will expect, and then we set the source for this type. Most commonly, we would do a search for a thing or use an option set. Now that we've declared the type and where to find the source, we must select a caption for each choice, and that is what will be displayed in our dropdown. Experiment more by adding your own dropdown element to your app. That's it for this quick tip. For more, be sure to check out bubble.io slash academy.